abortion specifically and health care generally is a driving issue for Democrats. And today, even more specifically, prescription drug prices. And this is interesting. It wasn't just the president in the treaty room of the White House talking about this today. He was joined by Bernie Sanders. The Vermont senator is someone who progressive voters follow carefully and who is often pushing Biden to go further to the left. But on lowering the cost of prescription drugs, they are on the same page. The very high cost of prescription drugs is not just an individual issue, what you pay. It is a taxpayer issue. It impacts all of us. Bernie, you and I have been fighting this for 25 years. Finally, finally, we beat Big Pharma. Finally. Joining us now, Neera Tandon, domestic policy advisor to President Biden. Thanks for coming on, Neera. Look, in a country as, as divided as ours, the one thing that a lot of folks agree on is that drugs cost too much, that big pharma makes too much. We just heard the president declare a win. Talk about where the White House believes the progress is, and what do you say to voters who wonder, OK, the costs of some drugs are down, but when are you going to get to my drug? Uh, well, we're focused on getting to more and more drugs and more and more drugs that Americans uh, really rely on. That's what the president's goal is, is to reduce drug costs for all Americans. So far, we have made significant progress. The, talk to, the president talked about this today with Senator Sanders. Uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, which uh, Democrats passed and no Republican voted for, gave power to Medicare to negotiate drug prices. Uh, they are negotiating 10 drugs, some of the costliest drugs seniors uh, face. Um, and also, they've already reduced the price of insulin, $35. That legislation is the law of the land. But as I said, Republicans want to rip it away. Um, but what the president talked about today with Senator Sanders is because of the actions of this administration, through the Federal Trade Commission, other legislation we've passed, and investigations launched by Senator Sanders, uh, today, we now have three of the four companies that produce inhalers committing to inhalers for asthma. Uh, 27 million Americans rely on, on, on inhalers for asthma. They, have to lo they are lowering their price, so consumers pay $35 per inhaler when they buy it at the, at the counter. So this is a, this is a big accomplishment, um, but it's really from the pressure the president his administration and others like Senator Sanders have placed on pharma because they know they can't just get away with inordinate prices any longer. This is something you're doing. Look, the Washington Post, however, uh, uh, let me just fact check. Republicans did not vote for this. But the Washington Post says polls have shown that most voters are unaware of Democrats' efforts to lower drug prices. So, I mean, look, you have an event today at the White House and arguably Bernie Sanders might draw the interest of some progressive. But why hasn't what you've been saying, the president, Democrats have been saying resonating? And do you have to change your messaging on this? Well, I... You know, I think most importantly, we've held a series of events over the last two weeks to really get the message out. But that's also why it's important for uh, us to talk with reporters, to, to engage with you and others to really demonstrate the impact. The president had a person introduce him today, Chris Garcia. Chris Garcia pays $160 for one inhaler and $60 for another inhaler a month. That, those inhalers cost basically $5 to make. Today, that's just too much cost for people. They don't have the breathing room. The president really focuses on prescription drugs because he knows this is a cost that people are bearing. Sometimes seniors are taking one pill instead of two. He understands the pressure that is, the lack of breathing room people have. And that's why we're going to keep talking about these issues because we know they matter. We hope that reporters will keep covering them because we know they matter. And that's how we get the word out to the country. And of course, I'm sure there'll be a campaign. I'm not speaking to the campaign. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, detained by the Hatch Act here, but I know the campaign, I imagine the campaign will be running plenty of ads on this issue uh, going forward. Neera Tandon, thanks so much. Appreciate you coming on the program. 
Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.